today I thought it would be fun if we look at 10 very strange things American people do. Now before on this channel I made a list 10 weird things American people do and that's basically a part one to this. Because let me tell you guys, you do some odd things it needs a part two. Occasionally in comments I get some very, I wouldn't call them trolls. If you don't like America, go and kill yourself. So much as idiots who think that I'm doing these lists because I hate America. That's not the case at all. I think they might be missing something here, like a screw. I find cultural differences fascinating and I really enjoy comparing the societal norms of another equivalent Western country with my own, which you'd find on a superficial level kind of similar. I just find that fun and that's how these lists are intended in a fun, lighthearted way. So the first very strange thing American people do is go to bars by themselves. One of my favorite shows to watch online is the Steve Harvey show. Oh, hey, I'm not. He frequently does these Q and A's and one woman was asking how she could go about meeting guys and he suggested she go to a bar and sit at it by herself. That is just not something that we do in Ireland so much unless you belong to a particular demographic. By and large, it's old men who sit at bars by themselves and they're by themselves but they ultimately get to know everybody else in the bar. I'm not saying it never ever happens anywhere else but what I'm saying is it's not a norm. In America, people strike up conversations with people alone very, very quickly and easily, whereas it's not the case so much here. You will have amazing banter if you get talking to Irish people, but you really have to win them over first. Irish people will side-eye you until we get the gist of who you are and what you're about. Particularly a young woman alone going and sitting at a bar, it's just not typical. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't do it, I'm just saying it's not something that happens a lot or all the time. You're generally waiting for somebody else. For example, it just would never occur to me to go and sit at a bar by myself. The next strange thing you guys do is serve coffee in like a gajillion different ways and you've infected our society with that too. As a coffee lover, it's something I'm actually on board with, but it's definitely made ordering things a bit more confusing. In America, the sizes and styles of coffee they have are basically iconic. You've got cold coffee, you've got warm coffee, you've got sweet coffee, you've got savory coffee, you've got different sizes of coffee, you've got coffee with your names on it. And here's the kicker. When you order coffee in most places in America, they keep coming and topping up your coffee. That would cost a small fortune in Europe. It's just not a thing that happens here. They don't top you up. It's just not a thing. One thing I particularly got on board with when I went to Texas was that you can put creams in your coffee that are different flavors, different creamy, flavors and that made it really fun to have coffee in the morning. The next thing that I find it quite strange that people do in America is when they're at a restaurant or even a bar they'll clear the table. I covered this one before in an American Manners video. In Ireland it's extremely rude to get up and take your plate away or have a waiter or a waitress take your plate away before everybody's finished eating. In America this is just looked at as really courteous. In the early 2000s in Ireland, guidelines were brought into pubs and bars that people had to clear away drinking glasses at the table. This was an health and safety thing to avoid potential casualties if there was a fight or something. And also just to keep on top of having the glasses and stuff clean. But there was a huge kickback in Ireland from people like my parents' generation because they felt it was kind of cosy to have all the glasses sitting at the table. It was also deemed a little intrusive when the bar staff kept coming over to your table and interrupting the conversation. But it's kind of something we're more on board with now, like 20 years later. I gotta say though, it does rub me up kind of the wrong way when I'm sitting at a table with somebody and as a slow eater, I never finish first and suddenly their plate gets taken away while I'm still eating. It makes me feel like the restaurant want me to hurry up and finish my meal. The next thing you guys do that's kind of strange, but I wish we did more of here is drive automatic cars. In Ireland, the supposition is that you will learn to drive on a stick shift as you'd call it in the States. And this is one of the huge reasons I don't drive yet. As well as the fact that I live in the city and there's just a bus right outside my door to everywhere. I've been thinking about learning to drive and putting it on the channel. Let me know below in comments if that's something you want to see. But what I really want to do at this stage is just learn to drive on an automatic car because that takes away the whole stress of having to move all the numbers around and work your foot pedal and stuff. But apparently that's really difficult because supposedly it's hard to find a driving school that will teach you on an automatic car that they actually have. I'd have to bring my own automatic car, which is super annoying. If the technology exists that makes it easier to drive, why don't we just use that technology? Why are we still driving around stick shifts when we're not racing car drivers? The next one that I find kind of adorable is how Americans formal talk all the time. You go around addressing people as sir and ma'am, whereas if you did that here, people would just find it a bit unusual. In Ireland, we definitely call our teachers sir and miss or what do we call lady teachers? 
Oh no, I think we call lady teachers miss even if they are married. The first time somebody called me ma'am in America, I was like, what? It made me feel like I was in the olden times. It was kind of adorable. Another thing that you guys do that's really formal, I noticed in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York, was every time you see a service person, you go, thank you for your service, which is, I'm sure, very appreciated. It's just not something we do here when we see our army people so much. I don't know, I thought it was cute. The next thing is in America, you have to be 21 to drink, and this has affected your drinking culture a lot. I find it really odd that you guys can get married and stuff, but you can't have a drink at your own wedding. Like, what is that? Americans are also mad for their drinking games, which I think stems from the fact that you don't get to drink till you're 21. In Ireland, we love an old drinking game, but the person who suggests it is generally looked at as, oh, that's a pretty lame thing to say. And then cut to 20 minutes later, you're all having great crack playing the drinking game. Also, you guys ID everybody about alcohol, which is so strange. Like you could be with a 50 year old and they'll get ID'd. Like they're obviously not under 21. What's that about? In Ireland, you can expect to be ID'd if you go somewhere that's say over 25s or over 21s or something like that, but not older, older people. Like it's perfectly obvious that they can be there. So I just don't understand that IDing people who are clearly not under 21. The next thing Americans do, and I'm gonna say this one with some trepidation, is bring politics into everything. As most of you guys know, I don't discuss politics on this channel, but I can put up the most random, fun, silly video on here and somebody will bring a political party into the conversation in comments and I'm just like, <coughs> Politics are a hot discussion in every country in the world, particularly in Ireland right now, but I don't bring them into every conversation. As an outsider looking in, there definitely seems to be a weird culture that what you stand for politically defines who you are as a person. And I don't think that's so much the case here. I don't know, I just find people complex and multifaceted and what you think about one type of thing isn't how you feel about every single thing. But let me know below in comments what your take on that is. The next thing is how much you guys love to combine really odd food combinations. I can only applaud Americans on their creativity when it comes to food because oh my god you surprise me all the time with the ideas that you have for it. My very first encounter with this was when I tried Five Guys for the first time and I realized there was bacon in my milkshake. What? Eww, that's such a weird thing! Is it? it? And I've seen it come up again and again and again like when I tried fast food in America people are like that's cool Diane but you didn't put your fries in your ice cream. Excuse me what? I'd actually really like to do a video in the future where I do try some of your weirdest food combinations, so if you know of any, let me know. The next thing is in American pharmacies, some of them still sell beer and cigarettes. As I understand it, a lot of pharmacies have made it a policy not to do this anymore, but the fact that it originally happened there is just crazy. To me, going to a pharmacy is somewhere that shoves health ideals down my throat, so when I see beer and cigarettes there, my mind gets all confused, because that's a juxtapositional message. I'm really glad that most places are not doing that anymore, so kudos. And the number one strange thing that Americans do that just makes me go, what? 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 Is Americans who say, Oh, I don't have an accent. No, you do. You do have an accent. I think they're referring to a generic American accent, but it's still very much definitely still an accent. Everybody in the whole world has an accent. When somebody says this to me though, I literally don't even know how to respond because I'm just like, you do have an accent. I can hear it in my brain head. Here's the thing, accents are cool. To somebody somewhere in the world, your accent is savage. You don't know what that means. Savage is a good thing in Ireland. I always try to check myself when I do Irish slang. Embrace the fact that you have an accent and it sounds cool to somebody else. So those are 10 more strange behaviors that American people do. Feel free to engage with one another in the comments in a respectful way. Today's video goes out thanks to the awesome community over at Patreon on the squad. Let me tell you, I've needed my Patreon community this week when YouTube had a little incident with my subscriptions. As well as getting exclusive content over there, the guys have formed their own little community and it's just really cool and a nice place to be. So do come and check it out if you like. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. The next thing that I find strange, the next thing I find it strange that American people do is when they're at a, the next thing I find str I don't have an accent. This was to avoid, this was to avoid potential. This was an elf. Hello. How are you? Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing the list. Why are you so sleepy? I'm gonna try and tilt my face this way for most of the video because I've got a big zit, like a collection of zits on my chin.